Are you having trouble understanding the new rules for sub 250 gram drones in Canada? Whether you're flying a sub 250 gram drone, full blown commercial rig, or FPV, the rules in Canada have changed big time. In this video, I'm going to break down the differences between the basic license, the advanced license, what an SFOC actually is, the new level one complex drone operations certification, and which drones are actually approved to fly over people according to Transport Canada. Let's clear this confusion. So for sub 250 gram drones, here's what you can and cannot do. These rules are for micro drones, anything below 250 grams. As of April 1st, 2025, you still do not require a license to fly your mini drone recreationally. But if you are flying for commercial purposes, flying over people or in restricted airspace, you will require an SFOC, a Special Flight Operations Certificate. You must still follow common sense safety rules such as staying below 400 feet within visual line of sight and not endangering people or other aircraft. What are the differences between the basic and advanced flight certificate? With the basic certificate in Canada, this allows you to still do many things, even commercially. This lets you fly in uncontrolled airspace. You must stay 30 meters horizontally from bystanders. You're still not allowed to fly in controlled airspace, such as near airports, hospitals, in big cities, heliports. The basic certificate also only requires an online exam. There is no flight review. Now onto the advanced certificate. This allows you to fly in controlled airspace with permission and proper approvals closer to people and sometimes even over people if your drone is Transport Canada approved. This certificate requires a tougher online exam as well as an in-person flight review. What is an SFOC? or a Special Flight Operations Certificate. An SFOC is basically Transport Canada saying, hey, you're asking to do something outside of the standard rules. For example, you're looking to fly your sub 250 gram drone for commercial purposes or restricted areas. Getting your first SFOC can be a daunting task. Hopefully, the next steps that I share with you can help you apply for your first SFOC. The application process for an SFOC requires a few documents submitted to Transport Canada within 30 to 45 working days. The application typically includes creating a flight plan that lays out the entire flight, the times you're planning to fly, as well as any dangers in the area or obstacles you can avoid. Pointing that out on your flight plan is super helpful. Typically, I like to arrive at the site beforehand, which goes into risk assessment. You need to fill out a risk assessment document with Transport Canada that lays out any safety or any risks that can be avoided. Your emergency procedures. What are you planning to do if your drone ends up flying away or accidentally hitting somebody? You are required to have insurance if you are planning to submit an SFOC. Having insurance is super, super important and required to submit an SFOC. Think of your SFOC as a kind of permission slip to allow you to do something that's outside the standard rules of your basic or advanced license. Transport Canada recently introduced a new category level one complex operations. This bridges the gap between advanced certification and an SFOC. Level one complex does require additional training on top of the advanced and basic certification. Personally, this has included about 20 to 30 hours of an online ground school, as well as an additional flight review. The level one complex is meant for more professional operators who often fly in more challenging environments or don't always want to apply for an SFOC for each mission. It's kind of like an upgrade pass for operators who want to push past the standard advanced flights. To fly certain missions under the advanced certificate, sometimes you need to double check that your drone is Transport Canada approved. 
your drone must be listed on the Transport Canada safety declaration list. These are drones that manufacturers have certified as safe for operations over people, operations near people, or operations in controlled airspace. If your drone isn't on this list, typically you need an SFOC for those flights. So to recap, sub 250 gram drones give you the most flexibility, but for commercial flights or flying over people, you're still required to have an SFOC. Basic versus advanced depends on how close you wanna to fly to people. If you wanna do missions that aren't around a lot of people, a basic license is just fine. If you wanna fly closer to people and in more complex environments, then lean more towards the advanced license. SFOCs are your special permission slip. When your mission requires you to do something even more complex, fly in controlled airspace, and the level one complex is the new bridge for pro operators. And finally, double check your drone is listed on Transport Canada's approved drone list before flying commercially. If you found this video helpful, hit like, subscribe, do your thing.